Now, of course, earlier on we were speaking to David Talia about his latest designs, but of course, uh, the Open Design Festival has been running right now, and it's running uh, since the 10th of August, and it brings together a whole host and a variety of tech and design innovations. And joining us this morning is Harry, the MD and co-founder of Rap, uh, Rabbit Disruptive Innovations, and he's here to talk to us about 3D printing, what it's bringing to the world of tech, and what you can expect also at the festival. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So I was with you at your company the other day, and uh, you were scanning me. I had to stand still for a very long period of time where you had to scan me, because um, you were going to be making a 3D print of right. uh, the, the, the top part of the my bust, body, yeah. of my bust, yes. Um, exactly how does this 3D printing technology work? Well, it is fairly simple. It's a, it's a very fancy um, glue gun, let's say, very hot extruder bit mm. that um, you just put plastic through it and it prints layer by layer. So instead of printing from um, extracting material mm -hmm. from, let's say, a block of wood, um, you actually start layer by layer going up and it creates a 3D object. Yeah, and this took an incredible six hours to make, you were saying, this yes, print that you that made? Yes, that took about six hours to make, but yeah. that's because it's relatively big. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on the technology. Some are slower than that, some are much faster than that, so yeah. it really depends. A variety of materials. What I was most surprised by is how quick this was. I mean, you walked around me, 360, and that was yes. about two minutes, yes. after which you had the rendered uh, image on your computer that we're seeing right now. That's it, And yeah. at the end of, yeah, like you said now, six hours, this was the finished product that we see yes. on this table right there. Incredible, incredible detail. And uh, I know that the technology has been moving quite fast, moving forward. We've, got, we've had 3D printed limbs. There's been yes. 3D printed houses, even organs that have been yes. printed, right? Organs. Where do you see the future of this technology in the next, let's say, five years? I think the future is going to be in the development of new materials. Um, like you say, uh, nanomaterials, biomaterials, metals. Uh, plastics that would be stronger than metals, which they are currently using already on airplanes, for example, at Boeing or at, uh, at, in, at NASA. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it becoming more affordable for the average person? It is, it is. Um, there are a lot of, of desktop, intro, you know, introductory 3D printers, which people can, can bring home already and print stuff on. Um, and also it's becoming more affordable to industries to yeah. make small run um, volume manufacturing. Yeah, let's talk a bit more about uh, your company, uh, Rabbit Disruptive Innovations, and the Open Design Festival this yes. year. What will you be showcasing? What can people expect from you? Well, open Design is a, a really amazing platform for us. We we have um, what we launching this week. What we call the I2P Lab, which stands for Idea to Product Lab. Okay. Um, this is in collaboration with the Val University of Technology, um, where people we asking for people to come in to come and experience 3D printing. Mm -hmm. Artisans that are working in very traditional types like sculpture, for example, or painting or jewelry, to come and explore additive manufacturing or 3D printing as a means to improve their process or to, to spark their creativity. That is fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, uh, good luck with the rest of the, the festival. I know it Thank runs you. until the 31st of August. It we... does, and it, there are a lot of things throughout town, mm -hmm. all the way to Kailicha. So, yeah, I think people should go on the website yeah. and check out the programs. Absolutely. It's, really it's called great. the Open Design Festival. Harry, That's thank it. you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for and having me. And check out that beautiful orange man. Can we get a close-up shot of that? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Just hold that camera shot. Okay, <laughs> nice one. Graham, over to you.